Hey everyone, it's Owen, and I am playing some Elise Dominion. Um, I'm playing uh, Dominion just because it's a fast-paced game, and it's kind of contradictory to my um, usual rank games. I've been spamming rank games unbelievably a lot lately, and um, I want to take a break from that because I want to... Uh, what's it called? I want to... Oh, I want to get better with some champions, and I want to get better at creeping in general. Um, just some things that you actually need to learn how to do so that you can be good in lane. Um, I was watching some Ari play in a ranked game earlier today. It was actually extremely strong and I, I, uh, I thought I could learn from it. So that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. I do see the Xin Shao. Okay, so, um, yeah, Dominion, it's kind of a game of quick-paced, fast, um, like, you don't really have to back, you can just kind of sit here. Um, I actually saw the, the reason why I'm playing Elise instead of playing someone that I usually play is because Elise was actually someone in one of my, or someone in the game that I was playing, and had some crazy juke, and I thought, oh, Elise was probably better, that, or Elise is probably better now than she was when she first came out, because when she first came out, she wasn't that strong, she didn't put out that much damage, and she wasn't that tanky of a champion in general. Um, she's also not that good as a mid lane. Um, she's really, really strong as a top laner though, because you have to build her tanky anyways. So you might as well build her kind of like an AP bruiser. But there's also not a lot of times where you want to go an AP bruiser top. So, this is basically just for experimentation on different um, champions in general. Damn, that sucked. Movement speed is OP sometimes. Uh, this is for experimentation with some different champions in general. Um, also some different team comps when it comes to rank 5s. Who knows, uh, I might need it. I got slain, but we did kill Oriana, which was what I was trying to do suicide myself for that one. Um, it's basically for different team comps. Uh, you can put Elise mid. I wouldn't suggest it though. I wouldn't even recommend it. Um, I'll find out how good that is after I play it for a while. After I play a lot more champions for a while, because I'm going to start playing them. Um, the next thing that I actually want here is kind of frozen, frozen heart, but I don't really need that unless the shot is starting to carry. So I'll just start building a Rylize instead. Build some healthy item. Um, but there are a lot of champions that basically are really viable, but, um, or something that Riot's trying to make more viable for champion play, um, because there's really only a few select roles, and that I think is going to be changing pretty soon. And the reason why I say that is because, let's take Talon for example, Talon and what's the other one that just came out, Zed? So those are both two AD mids, and AD mids have never been a huge thing because then you have kind of a lack of ability power. But to compensate for that, you can actually go for an AD carry, um, not an AD carry, an AP carry jungle like Diana or something. But no one really likes playing those because they take a really long time to gank. So basically you just get into these set roles which everyone calls the meta. And I'm not saying that the meta is bad or anything, but it's to the point where um, it's to the point where you only have these things and then you don't really get experimentation with a lot of team comps and there are some team comps where they'll probably be better than others but you don't get to try them uh, as much and then no one's going to solo queue with you uh, with them like that so I'm going to take a break from solo queuing uh, my score right now is did I already mention this? I think 20 and 12, um, which is pretty strong. 20 and 12, I think. 20, 2012, 2014, one of the, one of those. Um, well that's pretty good compared to my last one of like 110 to 111. So let's get out of there, Cosmics. Yeah. So I'm gonna try playing some other games like this for a while. Start getting. Uh, 
better with some overall champions and getting good at uh, comboing and that kind of stuff. Just kind of like that. Elise is actually really good now. Now that she they actually buffed her up from the 2% to the 3% on her um, AP scaling. Plus 3% of the target's health. Plus 8. Plus the 3% is actually... Um, I think that's off the AP scaling. It was green. I should probably read up on that. But uh, it looks pretty strong. Boom, bitch. Alright, get that triples all the way. Damn, Elise is really good now. Like, honestly, when I first played her, uh, before they buffed her, she was shit, and I didn't like her. And these people could just be flat out dumb, but, um, which is probably the case, honestly. It might be the case. Plus, it's a more, it's a faster paced game. But, it is ridiculously, ridiculously better. I should probably bounce from this one. I should leave from that. Um, ooh, I'm gonna die here. Yeah. I, <laughs> I got godlike though, and I'm actually first place on my team again. That's cool. Um, I never play... I never play Dominion, so I guess that's a feat. I'm 8-2, and two. what? When did that happen? Um, Elise, I'm never gonna run her as a mid. I think she's a much better top. Um, but maybe with the changes in Season 3, I can actually change that up. And that's basically what I'm talking about. We're going to try out some meta, um, play around for a really long time, and hopefully I actually get less addicted to this game as uh, I am extremely addicted. And it's not that healthy. But League of Legends in general, pretty fun. Um, I don't really know what to talk about now, besides the fact that I'm just trying out new builds, new rune pages, new champions, um, getting close to owning every champion in the game. And when I say getting close, I mean everyone that I own, uh, have to buy now is somewhere in the range of uh, 3150 to... I, I need to buy a couple 6300s, but not a lot. Thank you, Oriana, for taking that buff, where I can just burst you down like a crap ton. Um, let's see if I can take the turn now. Uh, Elise doesn't really require much skill now. Um, why can't I? Oh, it's probably because I was just in combat. Some of the things about Dominion kind of confuse me. But Elise actually looks like she's going to be a really strong minion player too. I wonder if she is going to be, um, what's it called? Like, not like she's going to be a strong minion player, but if they're ever going to, one, make like a ranked dominion, and two, make it so that it's uh, like tournament play status. Because they did have high elo dominion games a while ago. I do remember seeing that. There's such a huge difference between diamond level players and um, oh, I got it bolted. There's a, there's a huge there's a huge difference between diamond players and everyone else in the game, and there's a huge learning curve on this game. Honestly, like no matter how good you get, there is usually someone better than you, and it's a problem. But the best way to go against that is by learning how to counter, not really counter their. Um, champion but how to counter their play in, in general it's so like if someone's camping mid the whole time because there's only really three types of mids there's like roamers there's farmers and then there's people that roam and farm um just kind of in the middle but some people play differently like if you play passive you can actually really easy go aggressive on someone and uh, win that way because it is like it is surprisingly easy to it is surprisingly easy to win a game just by playing more aggressive than they are. I want to catch up to you, but I can't. Please stop running. 
you're, you're cornered. How funny is that? Um, but it's really easy to counter someone based on their playstyle. Um, if they're out of lane a lot, you can actually focus on just farming, and getting free farm is surprisingly good. Um, you would not believe how actually good it is to get free farm in a game. Free farm, and there's another one that's really good, uh, fed. Free farm is basically like getting fed, because if you think about it, like 10 to 12 um, minion kills is a... 10 to 12 minion kills is a um, champion kill, and if you have let's say 300 farm, then that's really OP because you basically have 12 champion kills and if you don't die, then you're basically 12 now. So it's like getting the same as, it's like being the same as fed. Damn, we actually destroyed this game. I think we just won too. Uh, just kind of a quick game to you guys, show you guys some play style of mine, which is just called burst down and then run around and still kills. <laughs> uh, kidding. But I'm just gonna try to practicing with other people, and one of the best ways to do that is by playing a RAM and Dominion games. So I will talk to you guys later when I actually come back with real games. So thank you guys for watching this one, and goodbye.